You call this a kitchen? Pa! I spit on it. <laughs> American culture is so artless. No one smokes a cigarette while acting depressed. Stupid American dog. You know you're not allowed to have onions. What is this? A comedy cooking show? Pa! YouTube is only for cat videos. If you must learn to cook, you must go to the top culinary schools in all of France. This is despicable. I... Hey, wait, what's going on? Hey. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Ah! We're going to be making French onion soup in today's episode. You know, more people should learn how to cook French onion soup. But alas, people only seem to want it when they go to restaurants. Now some chefs will say that their recipe is easy, but follow the same convoluted instructions. Oh CRJ, certainly your recipes will be easy. Well, to quote Nerd Rage, I'm... Excuse me? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to crush your expectations. French onion soup is easy-ish at best, and at worst, labor-intensive. But don't worry, my recipe falls into the easy-ish category. So, let's get to... Excuse me. Now, for this recipe, you'll need about... Five sweet brown onions. Including this arrogant French onion I just chopped in half earlier. We just got done with a huge neo-Nazi rally in Charlottesville. You should have thought of that before he opened up his big fat French mouth. Anyway, cut the onion in half down towards the stem, kind of like this. Peel off the paper layers. And cut them into little half moon shapes like this. Toss them in a bowl. And repeat the process for the next couple onions. Now that we chopped all of our onions, let's get to caramelizing. You want to cook the onions in a large, straight-sided saute pan, like this. T toss in a nice chunk of butter. Swirl it around, let it melt. And once that's done, add all of our onions. Toss it around to make sure everything is coated. Sprinkle in some salt. Help draw out some moisture. Time to hit you with a truth bomb. You gotta let this cook for 40 minutes. Hey, I said this was an easy-ish recipe. I even put it in the title of the video. But if you're willing to continue with me, stay put. Once the onions turn this deep mahogany color, it's time to move on to the next step. Deglaze with some white wine. Get the bottom of the pan to get all that goodness off the bottom. Now when most of the wine has been cooked off, time to go on to the next step. Turn the heat to low and add one 32 ounce carton of beef broth. Then add some fresh herbs. I got some thyme and rosemary here. Bring it to high. Once it comes to a boil like this, Reduce the heat down to medium low or low and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes are up, turn off the heat and remove the herbs. Next, let's slice up some French bread. Okay, turn the broiler on. You want it on high? Good. Take the bread loaves and stick them very briefly in the oven to toast. Leave the broiler on. Now in an oven proof bowl or teacup, scoop the onion soup into here. And like me, you need real oven proof bowls. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy some. Yeah, just ladle the soup into here. Place your crouton on top, like so. 
right up to some Gruyere cheese. And sprinkle that stuff on top. Don't be shy now. Stick this in the oven until you get a nice crust on top of that cheese. And here's where it looks like when it's done. Let it cool down and dig in. You know, Dr. Kelton from Scrubs once said, That shirt makes you look gay. He also said nothing that's worth having comes easy. Fame, love, people disabling ad block to watch my videos. And of course, French onion soup. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time.